One of these hives is about to die, and you can hear it in the buzz. This is a queen right hive. That's what beekeepers call a hive with a healthy, active queen. And there she is, the queen, right in the middle of it all. Bottom right of the, of the frame, bottom right of the frame. There she is, gorgeous, gorgeous little bee. And you can hear how calm and steady it sounds. I'm gonna close this back up because I have no other reason to be in here. The next hive tells a very different story. Constant, frantic buzzing. That's not normal. And it means something's wrong. In this case, the hive is queenless. When a hive loses its queen, the bees go into panic mode. They know they can't survive without her. She's the one bee in the hive responsible for laying eggs and keeping the colony united. Without her pheromones, the hive becomes stressed, confused, and disorganized. You can even see it on the frames. There are fewer bees, and that's not a good sign. Without a queen, the colony starts to dwindle. It's slowly dying out. The buzzing gets louder, almost like they're calling out, trying to figure out what's going wrong. <sighs> That's a roaring hive, I don't like it. It's an audible signal of chaos inside. If you're getting into beekeeping, I highly recommend keeping at least two hives so you always have a backup to support one in trouble. So now I'm heading over to my queen right hive to find a frame with capped brood and fresh eggs. Capped brood are bees about to hatch, ready to help rebuild the population. And eggs, if the bees feed them royal jelly, they can raise a brand new queen. Right here, most of this frame is capped brood, that yellow patch in the middle. And in the darker cells between them, you won't be able to see it on camera, but that's where the tiny eggs are. I shake the extra bees off the frame, and yes, that makes them a little loud too. And then place it into my queenless hive. And now, I wait. In a few weeks, they'll hopefully raise a new laying queen. And once her pheromones start spreading again, the hive will calm back down into harmony. After that, I'll close up my other hive, of course, and I'm done for the day. Make sure to listen to your bees. They'll always tell you what's going on. The queen really does decide, buzzing panic or calm harmony. Just listen. And if you haven't seen my video on how I caught a swarm and got free bees, go check that out.